What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Repulsive, repulsive, let down your scraggly hair so that I may climb. What? Never mind. Fire Marshal just said don't. Your hair's so damn dry, it's fucking fire hazard. Just throw it over your face or something like Cousin It. No one wants to see her eye bags that crinkle like aluminum foil when she smiles anyway, let alone the smile itself. Looks like rows of a lime scale covered urinals in a truck stop bathroom. And as someone who could pass as head lot lizard, I'm sure she knows what I'm talking about. Does anybody else hear Chewbacca sounds when they see this photo or is it just me? You need to make better choices, Marjorie, and get back to your roots. They've uh, gotten longer than a hard day's work. <laughs> Best to get to the Salon Monastet. But speaking of a long day's work, it was a hard week for moisture-free Marjorie. And just like her face, her story about the polio vaccine doesn't hold water. Pfizer and BioNTech asked regulators to authorize a fourth dose of its COVID vaccine. The company said that the fourth shot is intended specifically for individuals aged 65 and older. So naturally, the homophobic erectus took to the floor to attack COVID boosters and said, many of us were vaccinated as kids against polio. We had our MMR and I have never seen the CDC coming out and saying, oh, you've got to get your second polio shot, your third, your fourth. Well, maybe you haven't seen it because you spend your free time staring directly into the fucking sun. Y'all remember when former President Pumpkin Tits did that? Oh. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> Anyway, any statements that pass through Marjorie's urinary smile need to be fact-checked. So I typed in cdc.gov. It was so easy a caveman could do it, or so I thought. <laughs> Let me tell you what I found. CDC recommends that children get four doses of the polio vaccine. They should get one dose at each of the following ages. Two months old, four months old, six to 18 months, and the fourth at four to six years old. And to think that Marjorie had the audacity to call Joe Biden a mentally incompetent, feckless, dementia-ridden piece of crap. <laughs> now, y'all know I've never been one to resort to name calling, but that dehydrated, brainless, leather-faced yeast beast does make it difficult to avoid calling her names, but I won't. <laughs> I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you can't fact check yourself before you speak. <laughs>